Uh, it's that time of the year when thousands of visitors descend on KwaZulu-Natal for some downtime. Um, Isi Mangaliso Wetland Park is hoping to attract both domestic and international tourists through the natural beauty that make it a popular vacation spot. Now, the tourism sector took a hammering during the two years of COVID-19. Now begins the work, of course, to revive the struggling sector. ENCA's Leti Wemdluli reports. The December holidays are right around the corner, and businesses in KwaZulu-Natal are gearing up for the annual influx of tourists. Whether you want to visit its beaches, explore its hidden lakes, or soak in some game drives and learn about its history, Isimangaliso Wetland Park has it all. Various businesses, including those in Isimangaliso, took a hit during COVID-19's lockdown and the destructive floods that slammed through the province in April. We generate revenue through tourists. So it basically means that we did not generate revenue during that time. So it really did um, affect us in terms of the revenue that we were supposed to generate at that time. The Isimangaliso Wetland Park's CEO, Sibusi Sobkosini, says they've used the last two years to revamp key infrastructure at the World Heritage Site. They believe this holiday season will be different. We're expecting an increased number of uh, visitors coming into our park, especially because of the infrastructure upgrade that we've made. But communities living within the protected area remain impoverished. They are appealing to the park's management to improve their living conditions. Many locals must eke out a living by running businesses of their own, as well as offering camping sites and accommodation to tourists. These livelihoods were devastated by both the floods and the pandemic. Isimangaliso says it's been making strides in employing locals and building an excess road. Bukosini says that people living around the park also stand to benefit. We are encouraging communities and members of the public in general who have an interest of benefiting from the park by developing infrastructure outside or even in the buffer of the park so that they would then optimize um, uh, generation of economy, but obviously the park being the catalyst or conservation being the, con uh, the catalyst for that. Those who will be visiting the park are urged to follow the rules to make it a great experience for everyone. Leti Wemluli, KwaZulu-Natal.